Welcome to BIV Today, the business podcast from the newsroom of business in Vancouver. I'm Kirk LaPointe, publisher and executive editor. You know, the arrival of summer marks the season of significant tourism in British Columbia. And as the economy recovers from the pandemic, tourism, and especially specifically Indigenous tourism, is going to play a stronger and stronger role as a crucial ingredient in our economy. My guest today is the visionary behind the transition to tourism entrepreneurship. It's a program that's aimed at mentoring Indigenous business leaders of the future. Deneen Allen is the founder and CEO at Fire Circle and Pure North Canada. Fire Circle is Canada's only online business accelerator and mentorship program for tourism and hospitality entrepreneurs. And this transition program, as I said, is her brainchild. I welcome her to the podcast. Nice to see you. Thanks, Kirk. It's great to be here. I'm a great admirer of your podcast and of the publication, so it's, it's an honor. Oh. Well, great. Let's, uh, you know, we're mutual here. So, so Deneen, tell me a little bit about uh, what kind of challenges we're dealing with here in terms of growing the Indigenous tourism business. Uh, definitely access, uh, points of reference, um, and uh, education in, in business ownership and the fundamentals of small business. I think those would be the top three things that uh, that need to be addressed and need to be solved for Indigenous communities and entrepreneurs, uh, Indigenous entrepreneurs. So, so tell me a little bit about the the program. You know, this program obviously um, is trying to find a way out of the weeds for everybody here. Um, tell sure. me what it does. Yes, uh, absolutely. Well, it is a, a tourism business accelerator. And so we essentially put um, the entrepreneur's idea or existing business through a bit of an incubator. And it's very, uh, we call it the five by five method. It's uh, focused on five key areas of business development. And it's a series of online animated video workshops it's fully supported by our mentors and our facilitator team. Uh, and it's taking the entrepreneur through all of the things that we're finding and that we have found over, over years of consulting in tourism and hospitality across Canada. These are the things that our operators don't even know that they don't know. So these, you know, everybody starts from a place of passion they are excited about uh, something they love to do, whether it's in outdoor recreation or hospitality, food and beverage, accommodation. And they haven't necessarily come at their business idea from a place of seeking more knowledge. It's more from a place of, you know, I love what I do and I'm going to make this into a business. So we're really trying to uh, take our participants, our members in Fire Circle back to the beginning in some of these areas. And if I could elaborate a little bit, uh, and, and you know, some of these will seem so obvious for people who uh, have a sophisticated knowledge of the foundations or the fundamentals of business, but we're really trying to ad address and, uh, and encourage a better understanding of where their business sits in the market, in the tourism market and in their uh, in tourism economy. Uh, and that includes understanding their competition, understanding uh, the competitive landscape, understanding what their destination marketing organizations are doing, understanding uh, what is happening with trends and with travel in the world, and also understanding what they want to mean to the world. We get a lot, we get a, into a lot of brand story development work, you know, what what how is your business relevant in the world today given everything that's going on in the world today how how is what you're trying to be relevant and then yep. we take them through uh you know operations and design and we take them through financial management as well yeah that, it's so interesting that you mentioned that because you know i think at first blush you would think that someone who is in the tourism and hospitality business is you know is there to, to make your experience uh, a, a worthwhile one and an interesting one, but you know, you you mentioned the idea of like meaning, the meaning and behind, the purpose and of of your business and and how um, how important that is in terms of defining your business. And is that something that that then comes through the more you uh, the more that people are mentored, the more it you know that Absolutely. kind of purpose comes out. 
Absolutely. Uh, we One of the first workshops that we do with everybody is, is their vision and their big why. And really, especially for our Indigenous clients, but I would say for anybody, we've, we've been told this by non-Indigenous, uh, really all business owners, like, why, are, why do you want to run this business? When you start asking deeper questions about why that entrepreneur is even uh, thinking about starting a business, or sometimes they've been in it for 10 years and they've never asked themselves what it means to them. It, it does really help them understand their own values it helps them understand deeper themes that are embedded in their business. And that is then creating much more authentic connections with their market. And that's really, I've, we've had people say, about, oh, now I finally understand why I'm doing this social media <laughs> thing. <laughs> you know, right. because, yes, <laughs> you're trying to create a connection with people. Was, the, um, was one aspect of the pandemic helpful in this, Deneen, in, in that? people really started to accept uh, that you can do business the way we're doing it right now. You can conduct learning the way we're doing it right now. That, that somehow you don't need to have people around a table in a classroom, in a boardroom, in a conference center to do it. Yes, I think in terms of, of learning, we started this program. Fire Circle is a commercial business and the Transition to Tourism Entrepreneurship Program is, is a funded program that we're doing in partnership with um, the Government of Canada and the Indigenous Tourism Association of Canada. But even before the pandemic and definitely during the pandemic, it was obvious that we needed to disseminate this kind of information much more widely, make it more accessible, especially to rural and remote, in, especially to Canada, uh, rural and remote in Canada. We've, um, our infrastructure is, is it really is not that competitive when you start getting out into rural and remote Canada. We have obviously some very iconic places in in rural Canada that um, we all know about uh, in terms of uh, lodging and in terms of um, uh, you know recreational activities. We don't have a really strong uh, rural and remote tourism industry fabric in terms of infrastructure. So this has been really helpful to get the program out to more people, uh, make it more accessible, demonstrate points of reference. And our entire team is remote. So we're all over Canada and we have um, like 26 mentors across the country right now and growing. So yes, it, it's really, it really highlighted um, that we need to make things uh, as digitally friendly as possible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell me a little bit about uh, the objectives here. Uh, you know, not just the numbers of people that you want uh, this program to touch, but then what you sort of see coming out the other side of it in terms of their own deliverables. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our, our vision at Fire Circle is tourism excellence in Canada, right? And everything that we're doing is sort of guided by that principle. And how do we bring the knowledge to our entrepreneurs to achieve what that means to them what does excellence mean to them and really raise the bar so our objective is sort of raising the bar across the country in indigenous tourism and in in, in non-indigenous and for our participants it's for them to uh, grow their confidence through knowledge in, in and be able to either uh, raise the bar themselves for their own business, you know, with, through that new knowledge, uh, or to just get, you know, get their dream done. We have a lot of startup businesses working with us right now. And it's just, it, it's, uh, it's our inspiration every day when we hear what somebody wants to do, why they want to do it. So, yeah. When you, uh, you look at a program like this, um, and, and has the ambition of mentorship. Of course, mentorship can take a long, long time. You know, you can, you can have it. How long do you kind of keep people in this program linked to a specific mentor here? Well, that's a great question too. So uh, we, the program itself is meant to be finished within six months. And so it's a combination of online self-paced learning 
plus mentor hours, plus we do uh, amazing group live calls. And so these entrepreneurs from all over Canada are meeting each other and they're Indigenous, non-Indigenous, they're starting to do partnerships. So that's meant to take about six months. We offer uh, a year through this program, a year to everybody to complete the program and complete their business plan that, at the end. That's also an, an outcome for not only that we'd like to see them accomplish, but that they, a lot of them need it. They need it to go for, uh, for debt uh, financing or they need it for grants, applications and things like that. So at the same time, we have members who we've been mentoring for three years now who just really enjoy that camaraderie of the group calls and also just having someone to talk to. It's kind of, kind of lonely out there when you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. So these become almost part of someone's uh, full network as you're doing. Um, la last thing, um, how does one qualify? Are, are there particular criteria that are required here? And, and, uh, and, and, you know, how give, I'll do, I'll let you do a 30 second commercial too. Like, uh, uh, you know, how do they find you? Okay, thanks, Kirk. Uh, so we're, uh, anyone can apply uh, uh, if they are Indigenous, so urban and rural Indigenous, so anyone can apply. Uh, there's no age restriction. You probably want to be, uh, you know, in uh, at least in grade 11 or 12, but we have no age limitation. And uh, if you're rural uh, or non-Indigenous, then you, you would be in a community under 250,000 people. So that's a lot of scope. And we have a lot of rural entrepreneurs joining us. Um, and uh, we don't assess the business idea. This is not, you, you're not accepted, you know, based on whether you, you, we think you have a good business idea. The program is testing the feasibility of your business idea. So we definitely right. don't judge. We, you know, that's what we're there to help is to, to uh, run it through its paces and see if it can be a viable, a viable tourism business. And if someone wanted to apply, they could easily just go online to our, um, our main, our homepage. And our website is www.thebuyercircle.ca. So fire circle is all one word dot ca and uh, they'll find the programs page there and they can apply directly and we would we have lots of seats still available in the program we've been funded for in this program for up to a thousand entrepreneurs a thousand seats across canada we have lots of room and we're really encouraging um, more uh, participation from all provinces and territories, but especially from BC, yeah. for sure. Great. Well, look, let's check back in, uh, you know, in, in a few months, uh, see how the program is faring. Uh, but meanwhile, you know, thanks so much for your time today, Deneen, to help explain what this potentially can do in terms of, uh, you know, really creating a much larger and probably a, a better organized tourism sector uh, for a lot of entrepreneurs who are getting uh, getting going. Uh, thanks for your time today. Thanks, Kirk. It was my pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Deneen Allen is the founder and CEO at Fire Circle in Pure North Canada. Of course, they're running this uh, business accelerator and mentorship program called the Transition to Tourism Entrepreneurship. I'm Kirk LaPointe, publisher and executive editor at BIB. Thanks a lot for watching.